Green Lantern is number 56. Dan Jurgens writing. Mike Perkins on the art. Um, which I'm glad again, because I, I like his art. Oh, this arc. I've liked his art the most. Cover um, aside, assuming that he did the cover. I don't think I paid much attention to it. I'm going to go look at it just now, though, since you're bringing it to my attention. I don't know. It, 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 it looks pretty lumpy to it me. It sends Misery Loves Company. Yeah, um, yeah something's wrong with his face. If I, I'd say he's in, I think it's the angle, actually. I'd say his entire upper body is looking a bit Yeah, it's weird. Not, I think the, the upper body, the angle's wrong. His chest is sticking out weird. Um, and his head is pointing the wrong way, and it's too big. Mm-hmm. In fact... It goes for more than one of them. Look at John behind him, uh, just just above his arm. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> yeah, that's an ugly cover. So ugly cover. The art interiors though, I love. Uh, you know, Baz in the snow yeah, I, early I on. Yeah, I do as well. Like, yeah. <laughs> which is why it sticks out as really bad. Uh, which is why I'm probably going to assume it wasn't him. It so, was. I know. I just checked. Uh, it is. Um, yeah. Well, I also it's got a very different colorist, if nothing else. I'll say that much. Same colorists, both hi-fi. That can't be the same color. It looks completely different. Nope, same colorist. I mean, you say that. Um, the colorist on Batman, this this issue, uh, was Moray, who did the cover, the the colors for Heroes in Crisis last week. A completely different style of colors, but same colorist. Well, what the hell are they playing out with that cover? Then you get the same, all the same people involved. <laughs> yeah, I know. It looks hideous, doesn't it? Madness. It's a rush job. The I think it is a rush job, yeah. They were like, oh shit, we would do a cover for the solicits tomorrow. Quick. <laughs> Deadlines, man. Name pretty. Uh, so, obviously we've had some problems with a, a few issues in this art. I liked the start of it, and then it went downhill in the middle, and you know, the, the Cyborg Superman was a fun reveal, but then him monologuing his plans for the last two issues rough, yeah. have been pretty rough. This issue, I think, fared better because it was mostly just the action. Um, I specifically enjoyed... He has all the lanterns captive, but Baz is still running around rogue, and he goes and gets John out of the out of the med bay, and they kind of come in storming with guns because they know they can't use their rings. I thought that moment was fun. I thought them like coming in. I don't like that Baz is all like, "Oh, I've got a gun again. I can trust something. I can trust." Because again, yeah, that that one moment where he was like, "Ah, oh, finally, a gun again." Yeah, I, I can't remember the actual line that he says, but it kind of undercut that moment yeah i like everything else about the plot there with what they're doing and the fact that they have to come in guns blazing to try and save everyone else um i don't like Bazzi's line because again it undermines that character development which we all like we all like that development that he gave yeah, up the gun and and him go- going back to needing a gun after that development could be a great beat like he hasn't got a choice it's like well i've got to use a gun yeah, but the fact that he relishes in it, it's like, oh, it feels good to have a weapon yeah. in my hands again. That, that's my problem. Like, let's say, okay, we can't, we can't use our rings. Okay, there's some guns here. Like, give me a panel where he hesitates, where he's like, where he, where he knows this is a big deal that he's picking one up again. Like, you know, yeah. make a moment out of it, and then don't have him like go, oh, it's gay, I get to shoot guns again, yippee ki yay. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Which is basically how he reacts, and that, that yeah, that that's, that was a, that, that bugged me. But hey, so. The issue, basically, Henshaw is all like, hey, Hal, remember when I nuked Coast City? Oh, those were good times, weren't they? Those were good times. Yeah, I see they're rebuilding. Maybe I should go back. <laughs> well, that's the ending. He goes back to Coast City. He's going to destroy Coast City again. <laughs> I kind of... No, I kind of hope he goes through with it and it happens. Just to... Just to have that again and, and to play on that as so what well, you know going into you know, the, the hal book with morrison sure yeah i mean i could see something from that i don't think he's going to but i, no, I don't he's gonna stop him, but i mean so the lions fight everyone and they realize he's going to coast say i don't necessarily realize yet but he's there that's that's where we no, go no, hal, hal's like he's going to earth okay sure yeah he gets it um so actually just to go back to the gun thing cause not to harp on this too much but just thinking about it, I actually, I think there's a lot of potential there that has been wasted because the other character there, you know, John, he is a soldier. So when I see him with a rifle, it's like, no, no, this is like, you know, what he was trained in, he understands this, but he respects he was, what he's doing. He, he respects. He's a Marine. He's yeah. like, no, sometimes, you know, because he, he's never been, oh, I'm going to put down the gun and, and use the ring. But he's never been afraid to use a gun. But he's never, he's, he doesn't relish at it. Like, he he respects the, the, the weapon of destruction he's got in his hands. He, he treats he, even, it seriously. Even in this here, he's just, he, he you know, Baz is going on about, oh yeah, how good is it to using guns? And John's like, don't let up. Just, you know, keep shooting at him. Yeah, he's like, focus, soldier. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. 
You know, like Baz comes off as the hotshot soldier on the squad who everyone's worried is going to get them killed because he's he's too, he's too egotistical. Yeah, he's too excited to be there. Yeah, um, which gets people killed. So you know, I like it just I feel I feel like it's this uh like that's my big critique with this issue for the most part. It's not like it's not like otherwise it's like a fantastic issue. I think the art's really good. I think the action's pretty fun. Nothing exceptional, but it's it, solid it, though, isn't it? Yeah, like it's fun as an action issue, which makes it better than the last couple for sure. And I, I do really like Henshaw taunting uh, Hal. I, I do as well, and I like the ending. I like that. Okay, this is actually kind of a personal threat. He's coming to Earth to kill Coast City again. It's like screw you, Hal. <laughs> do you know what i would love nothing more for him to go through with it just so we can say that hank henshaw nuked coast city twice <laughs> he nuked coast city again <laughs> how many people nuked the same city twice <laughs> I, I, I don't think any do oh there's, oh. i'm just saying there, there's, there's potential in that but um i will say i like this issue more i think the next one's the last one Hopefully it goes out in another strong issue, so we can so we can at least say that the majority of the arc has been has been better than, than bad. Yeah, it's it's been a very inconsistent arc though. Yes. We've, no matter how it ends. Yeah, but I mean, at least if it starts and ends strong, I, you know, because I'd say it had a good couple of strong issues to begin with. Had a good, and if it gets a final good issue, it has a couple of strong issues to end with. Then I can overall be happy yeah. enough with my time with it. But because um, yeah, it, it really is just that bad thing that that will be the lasting impact. I don't like. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you know <laughs> i do lads. hope there's a, a moment in the last issue where he puts down the gun again yeah he makes a choice yeah that'd be nice it, it'd feel maybe forced or not forced but but rushed given how rushed the, the whole thing's been in general but i'll yeah i'd rather they, they, they tie it off on a boat at this point than try and drag it out than any other yeah, way exactly so yeah okay we're giving green lanterns <laughs> yeah it's another seven sorry no but i agree with this one i, I think this is Okay. Yeah, it's a seven. Well, actually, no, I go with six point five. I think seven's actually just a little bit too. I think I had just an, even with the the bus, I think I had a bit more fun with it, like you know, just the the with the the henshaw him and you know. The oh yeah, there's more fun. Like I, I definitely like this issue more, but I'm going with six point five. It was an enjoyable yeah. six point five, but with with some problems. Um, I, if I if to have another complaint, I'd say that maybe when Baz comes out to help everyone. Jess says, oh, see, I told you Baz hadn't betrayed us, and everyone just kind of goes, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> and like All that build-up that they all thought Baz was a traitor amounted to, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's true. You got a guy shrugging going, yeah, point made. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We can move on. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll say that was a bit weak, I guess, overall. That's fair.